ever have somebody that you know and they have just this great talk game but that talk game they use it to appeal to whoever they're speaking to in the moment but it can change based off of who they're having a conversation with or who, who they're having a conversation about because they may say just anything that they think you want to hear in that moment but when it comes to them actually being real about their word they aren't and this kind of reminds me of Gregory Gregory Roman the Ravens offensive coordinator and the reason I say that is because it just reminded me let's take you back to 2019 I remember a lot of Ravens fans that they, they were having a conversation and again this this wasn't a being a prisoner of the moment of the Ravens doing good or bad because they were 14 and 2 they were in the middle of a 12 game winning streak so a lot of Ravens fans were thinking, oh, man, these Ravens, come playoff time. Oh, man, they not showing us everything now. Come playoff time. Ooh, just imagine. Because the Ravens, they started sprinkling little things in here and there. And we were thinking, oh, man, are, are they saving plays for the playoffs? Oh, uh, Greg Roman, is this offense saving plays for the playoffs? And the reason that a lot of us thought that was because we saw things like the Heisman package. Lamar Jackson, RG3, Mark Ingram, all on the field at the same time. And it was like, whoa, where'd that come from? And then I remember in the Bills game, it was right before halftime. It was looking like, all right, Ravens just about to kneel the ball. Let's go to halftime. But Ravens did a fake kneel, and they, they snapped it to uh, Justice Hill, and he took off. Got a nice little chunk of yards. Obviously, he didn't get a touchdown, but still. And when we saw stuff like that, a lot of us were thinking, oh, man, this offense They've been crazy good during this streak. Just imagine what they got stored up. They ain't even showing us everything yet, man. And then the playoffs came and, yeah, we remember what happened. But then, on top of that, we go back to last year. This Ravens offense, they start off very pass happy. There's some open lanes. Lamar's not taking them. They are just this pass happy Ravens team. They force feeding all of their running backs. They're like, you get a carry. You get a carry. You get a carry. Even though you're hot, uh, you, we're going to cool you off, buddy. Go give the carry to somebody else. So at the beginning of the season, the offense was just, it, it was a question mark. It had a lot of us scr scratching our head. And then Greg Roman said, hey, we are going to forge a new identity. Forging a new identity. Let's get it, baby. And then we were like, okay. He said, we're going to forge a new identity. Let's do it. All right. Ravens flock, let's go. What happened? Where was that new identity? Because we sure didn't see it. So that's why with this, with this quote, with him saying this, it's like, ah. I just don't believe you, Gregory. And I'm not calling for him to get fired. I'm not calling for him to get demoted like a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all, oh, man, he needs to go back to run game coordinator. But I'm just saying I just, I don't believe it based off of what we've seen in the past. Now, of course, we've had so many questions from subscribers. Y'all have been on it from jump. I remember when we unfortunately first lost uh, Gus Edwards and, and J.K. Dobbins. A lot of y'all were on it. Y'all sent the question from subscriber talking about the Ravens using Devin Duvernay in the backfield. Using him like a scat back. Using him to just come out of the backfield and make some stuff happen. We already knew he was a jet sweep king. Because Greg Roman has let us know that plenty of times based off of the use of Devin Duvernay from last year. But just to see him involved more. I've been starting to call him Debo Duvernay. To, to see if they could use him like uh, the 49ers use Debo Samuels. Sort of like the Falcons use a Cordero Patterson. He's obviously a much different body type than Duvernay, but you get the point. To just use him in different ways. He's been involved in the offense a lot this year. He's been out there wide receiver a lot. And of course, again, the, the jet sweeps. You know, again, jet sweep king. Give him his crown even though he already got it. So y'all have been on that. Been on it. But... Greg Roman was asked about it today, about using Devin DuVernay more out of the backfield. And his response was, we have, a t we have a ton of stuff sitting in the vault. Whether or not we choose to unlock the vault, it's a long season. I like to space things out. 
I, 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 I can't, man. I, I, I can't. I hope that I can be proven all the way wrong. I hope I can. I would love this. I would love to. I would love for people to come back and say, "Oh, Engraven, see, you thought Greg Roman was lying. You were wrong." Okay, <laughs> you think I'm gonna be mad at that? But my expectations, they, they, they already are tempered. They, they're already set, and they, they've already been lowered based off of things that we've seen in the past. I know a lot of people. They would get upset. Despite the Ravens being eight and three, that we will continue to talk about the coordinating of these games. They'd be like, "Man, what? The, why are you guys complaining? You're eight and three. What's, what, what's wrong with Greg Roman? What's wrong with Wink Martindale, man? What's going on, man? Why are you complaining?" And it's like, "Whoa, whoa are you watching the games? Eight and three, great. And for for the this team to have overcome everything to be eight and three is wonderful." But the thing that we were complaining about, even though it's just being real, it's not complaining at all. But the thing that we were bringing out and mentioning is patterns. It's patterns. Stuff that we see on a repeated basis. Stuff that we see constantly and consistently that are problems. And even though the Ravens have overcome these problems... If the Ravens address these problems a lot earlier in games, a lot earlier in the season, then they may be sitting even prettier right now. But again, they have these problems and, and we'll take the eight and three all day. Atop the AFC, we'll take that all day. Oh, we love that. We definitely appreciate that. That's amazing. But we still got to see this team for who they are. And they have problems. Now, somebody talked to me. They said, oh, engraving. Well, but every single team got problems. Yes, of course. That's why nobody's undefeated because they all have problems. But with the Ravens problem, since we focus about 98 percent on the Ravens, that's why we call them out that much more. That's why we address them that much more, because we know if the Ravens continue those same problems, <laughs> If they don't clean up them problems, then they're going to get cleaned up right out of the playoffs ASAP. And we just don't want that to happen. But with Greg Roman, with him saying that he, he got some stuff in the vault. Oh, man. I, I would love to see that vault. And I would love to see it opened up. Now, one thing, I know a lot of people... They, 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 there's a lot of different conversations that can be had about this when it comes to saving plays for later on in the seasons or saving plays for potential playoffs. Um, now, one side is like, hey, you can't show your hand in the regular season. You, you just that's that would be foolish. Why would you show them everything that you're going to do? You can't put everything out on the table like that. And I can understand that. But I'm leaning on the other side a bit more there because. I feel like, hey, not that you got to show everything, but you don't you want to make it to the playoffs? Don't don't you want to be there? And so if, if you want to make it to the playoffs, hey, you got to sprinkle some stuff in. You, you, you really got to like this offense and especially the, the, the state of the offense that where they're at. I feel like um, it, it's just been a mix of a lot. It's been a mix of Greg Roman being a problem. It's been a mix of Lamar being a problem sometimes. It's been a mix of the offensive line being a problem sometimes. It's been a mix of just all those different things just happen. Sometimes it's the receiver. Sometimes it's this. Sometimes it's, it's just a, a lot. It's not just one person to blame. Lamar, the other night, a lot of bad throws. Lamar sometimes stepping in the sacks. Lamar not taking check downs. Offensive line, sometimes not blocking. Offensive line, if they do block somebody, it could end up being a holding call. <laughs> Wide receivers, drop. Uh, like, it's, 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 it's crazy. But running backs, ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so, it's, even though Devontae Freeman, he's he been doing this thing recently, man. Really establishing himself, really getting in a groove, man. So, shout out to Devontae Freeman. But, They've, they've all contributed to the Ravens' offensive problems uh, as a whole. Uh, and, uh, but like I said, we just we want them to do better. But when you see all the different contributing factors, you, you have to put guys in the best position to have some success because success as a Ravens' offense, it, just, it hasn't been there their past couple of games like that. It hasn't been there consistently.
And we're not expecting this team to score every single offensive drive. That would be ludicrous. We wouldn't complain. We would love that. But that, that should not be an expectation, and it is not a realistic expectation. They're not going to score every time they have the ball. Stuff happens. In order for a football play to be successful, so much has to go right. It's much easier for a football play to go wrong than it is to go right. Because in basketball, like one person could dribble down court, shake a couple people, drive to the basket, oh, lay up, dunk, whoever you may be. Or you, hey, put back dunk. Shout out to James Harden there. But, or, but for football, like so many different people contribute to one play being executed the right way. Because one person can't do it all. It's impossible. Because for the quarterback to make a pass, the offensive line got to block, the receiver got to run the right route, the quarterback got to make the right throw, then the receiver got to catch it. So it's, it's that back and forth. First, the, um, the responsibility is on the offensive line and the quarterback, then it's on the receiver, then it's on the quarterback to make the throw, then it's on the receiver to catch it. it see that responsibility? All that goes back and forth in just one play. In just one play. So it, it's, it's so tough. That's why you want to make sure you're doing everything that you can as a coach or as a player to contribute positively to a play being successful. Now, with Greg Roman, I just I, I, I really hope that this isn't one of those things where because we, cause we've seen the offense struggling. We don't want them to struggle. And we want the offense to just gain some more confidence. We want them to have that, that, that swagger. We want to see them on the sidelines smiling. Now, we're not expecting them to blow out every single team. We, that, that's, mm -mm. Those, those, I was going to say those are the old days, but that, yeah, that, two, yeah, two years ago, 2019, those were the old days. This is regular Ravens football now. So if whatever you're saving, apparently, even though I don't believe it, bring it out. Bring it out. Because this offense, like, bring it out. Please. And I would say, like, you, you don't have to be running all these trick plays like crazy. But those plays that are a little more creative, because you don't got to be cute. But you can just get cute a little bit, tiny bit. Don't be cute. Don't consistently be cute. You don't have to consistently be a trick play offense. No, don't do that because you need to establish your, your regular offense, too. But it's OK to sprinkle some stuff in here and there just to spice things up, just to give your team that much more momentum. Just throw some things in there. It, it just reminds me of like how the Chiefs were. <laughs> Maybe not so much this year, but I mean, this year, their offense still been doing their thing. They, they've been throwing a lot more picks than normal. But with the Kansas City Chiefs. I know that they, um, their offense, high-powered offense. We all already know. Um, but they, a lot of times, they will sprinkle in some, some little crazy stuff where you'd be like, oh, man, how did, what, oh, who's getting, what the, where's the ball? Oh, oh wow. But they would, they would sprinkle that in there all while they're still running their normal offense, but they would just change things up a little bit, change the pace. Sometimes it would work. Sometimes it wouldn't. But when it did work, it would just give them that much more life, give them that much more energy and, and just that much more dominance a lot of times over a lot of the teams that they were playing. Now, th did the Chiefs stay cute? No, they just got cute real quick and it helped. That's all I'm saying for the Ravens. Again, don't stay cute. Just get cute a little bit, a little bit. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, Gregory. Uh, let's see uh, if any of these new plays, these plays that they got saved for the long run, these plays that he could pull out at any second, if they actually uh, show up. So, and again, with those plays, it's not all on him now. In order to, and Hollywood said it himself. He said it uh, during, I think, training camp or preseason, something like that. He said it early on this year um, that with the plays that they're running, he said, for, he said, for guys' numbers to be called, they got to show that they can execute that in practice. They got to show that they can make it happen in practice because that's where it all starts. So, again, it's up to Greg Roman to try to incorporate it, and it's up to the players uh, to be able to execute it. So, it, like I said, it, just, it takes so much for football play 
to to just come out right. But this responsibility is on everybody. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all. Oh, boy. We'll see if these plays, if, if, if we see any of these. Oh, goodness. Anyway, we out. Love y'all. Y'all stay up, man.